Rajnivas in a leafy suburb of Puducherry, India, a quiet revolution is taking shape, slowly but surely. The rules of good governance are being established. At 10 a.m. each weekday, the Lieutenant Governor, Dr. Kiran Bedi, meets with a core group that reviews the previous day's happenings and plans ahead. The Governor's official residence opens its doors three evenings a week to welcome citizens who stream in with complaints that vary from civic matters, property and land disputes, and family issues, to name just a few. To date, 31,000 complaints have been recorded and redressed, be these in person, on social media, or even on WhatsApp. It's a surefire way of being listened to by the powers that be. Every weekend, Team Nivas scores the city by cycle, bus, and even trudge the streets. This method helps public officials get familiar with problems faced by residents, sanitation and water supply being the most common, and these receive the most attention. The team also visits police stations, non-governmental organizations, and also women's and youth groups. The Rajnivas is a 200-year-old impressive structure of elegance and culture. Now, it's not the domain of the privileged few. Instead, it attracts locals and foreign tourists. Anyone can step in during visitors' hour throughout the week and marvel at the splendor of the surroundings. Those wanting to go on the guided tour need just apply in advance. What's more, some lucky kids could get to sit in the governor's chair and dream of a future perhaps? Or get to have your picture taken with the members of Team Nivas. Team Raj Nivas adopts a very grassroots approach to administration. It drops in on different government offices, checking its functioning and interacting with officials. As a result, seamless, efficient operations flourish and members of the public can take advantage of a people-friendly atmosphere when they approach the officials. One-on-one -on -one meetings take place every single morning at the Raj Nivas. The Lieutenant Governor meets with secretaries and heads of various departments. It's seen as an important interaction as administrative practices get standardized and the Lieutenant Governor keeps up to date with all that is happening around her in Puducherry. Self-evaluation and training is a crucial part of good governance. Officers undergo an evaluation session that emphasizes their strengths and their weaknesses. The session helps develop self-development plans and encourages the officials to self-audit. These exercises in turn improve self-confidence, development and inculcate a newfound interest in their respective assignments. The most important communication strategy is in place here. The prosperous Puducherry WhatsApp group involves a group of all the officials in a particular department on the same WhatsApp page. This is invaluable as every member of the group knows exactly what is happening, what action has been taken, which official or which department is dealing with the problem and, of course, the final outcome. A rather unusual practice is also in place at the Rajnivas. It involves the officer on special duty with the Lieutenant Governor compiling a statement on the disposal of files and outlines the achievement of the departments for the previous week. This method also reduces bureaucratic delays. And, with a one point of reference, this system makes life easier for the local citizen, preventing them the hassle of running from pillar to post to find out the status on their respective problems. Rewarding individual performance is something Team Rajnivas takes very seriously. 
outstanding work in the government or the community is valued and recognized. Dutiful citizens, exemplary officers and workers are rewarded with shawls and gifts of recognition. It's a shot in the arm that improves all-round performance and that finally makes for a contented workforce. The creative team at Rajnivas handles the timely release of information flow across the different platforms. Their role is vital as they deal with social media, print media, television and radio, publications and the Rajnivas website. The team has produced short films and has compiled the most extensive collection of archival material. These archives are invaluable to the Lieutenant Governor and as an all-time record. Weekly and monthly reviews are held between the Lieutenant Governor and senior government officials. The weekly meeting is between the Lieutenant Governor and the Chief Secretary and deals with matters that pertain to dealings between the Government of India in New Delhi and the Government of Puducherry. On the other hand, the monthly reviews are between the secretaries of the various departments. The Lieutenant Governor chairs this meeting as well that deals with interdepartmental matters. The Lieutenant Governor and Team Rajnivas make surprise and incognito visits around the Union Territory. Cruising around on a two-wheeler is a marvellous way of determining the safety of women at night. Surprise visits to police stations and hospitals result in better service to the public. Traffic management, infringement of traffic laws and public cleanliness have all improved because of these surprise visits and traders, citizens and visitors are now far more conscientious. Another interactive program is the Youth Awareness Program. Its focus is to mentor young people and is tailored to suit the needs of the students professionally and personally. The program considers the interests, education and needs of the young students. Under the direct leadership of the Lieutenant Governor and other senior team members, students now attend intern lectures, cooking sessions, clean-up programs and other useful projects. A Rajnivas Leadership Series is a unique and popular event. It's open to government officials and members of the public. The sessions afford a great opportunity to attend interactive sessions with prominent speakers and interesting personalities. Senior government officials also share their experiences and knowledge with the audience and their peers. It's all part of a grooming process for future leaders in government and is an inspiration to all who attend. To date, more than 2,000 people have benefited from this initiative. Rural Puducherry gets very special attention from Team Raj Nivas. With no Panchayat Raj, local leadership is missing. To override the lack of a common service provider, Team Rajnivas started a convergence initiative for the villages. This brings in all the essential services together and, led by a senior government officer, outlying areas now benefit from developmental programs as decided upon by the local communities. Believing that women are the backbone and the prime movers of any society, empowering women raises them and their families from the shackles of poverty and promotes them to a higher economic and social order. Good leadership from women ensures a high level of health can be assured, as well as education for young girls, care for elders and family security. Welfare schemes have worked well too, generating employment and asset building. Mobilizing corporate social responsibilities has proved to be a big success. As private enterprise joined hands with local communities, 
the desilting of urban and rural water channels has subsequently made Puducherry and its surrounding areas water rich. A hitherto dry and arid landscape has now been transformed. Corporates have also upgraded rural schools, improved conditions in prisons, introduced health programs and fostered ecological upgrades. Team Rajnivas has fostered a healthy coming together of private and government partnership. The debt burden in Puducherry has been a cause for concern and Team Rajnivas has been stressing the need for austere measures to reduce this financial worry by promoting a strict adherence to budgets and encouraging austere spending. Senior Finance Department officers along with the Lieutenant Governor have withdrawn business class travel, saving electricity in offices and public buildings and other wasteful government expenditure. Children are regular visitors to the Rajnivas. The lush green lawns are a perfect carpet as they watch award-winning films and other inspirational material. So far, approximately 4,500 children, their parents and teachers have enjoyed this open-air theatre. Before the film screenings, an additional treat is a tour of the building itself and an interesting peek into its history. However, it's not all work at the Rajnivas. Celebration time is fun time. Over the last 1,000 days, 14,000 officers and workers have attended the different events that have been held here. Whether it's Christmas, Iftar or Pongal, Tamil New Year celebrations, Tourism Day, Women's Day, Family Day, Forest Day, Baisaki, Vishu, Ayudha Puja or Diwali.